Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Rule Breakers was a very interesting first day, and we're going to talk all about it here today with the servers going down for almost eight hours today. Eight freaking hours, EA. Basically, it wasn't just FIFA servers, it was like all of EA servers went down today. I think what caused it is that Harry Kane with 91 pace was just something that this whole entire game and this whole entire company couldn't handle. Handle. Sorry, just kidding. I just had to throw that out there. But... All jokes aside, today was the first day of the Rule Breakers promo. Very interesting cards. Kind of, I don't know, man. Very interesting. Player selection was interesting. And, of course, with all of the whole stuff going on in the market as well, uh, there's a lot to talk about with the servers being down. How is the market going to bounce back? Is it going to crash because of this? Is it going to go back up? People have saved packs. They probably haven't opened yet. People that have FIFA points at the ready probably didn't get a chance to open lightning rounds. Or, sorry, not lightning rounds, but promo packs that are in the store. Talk about the SBC's objectives uh, and then kind of where I think the market will go in the next day or so. I want to cover some of that. So just kind of a little promo overview just so we can kind of all get on the same page and I can put my thoughts to the content. Uh, this seems to be the way EA is going to do promos this year, right? So in years past, they wouldn't always have 11 players per promo. They would usually have a full 11 and then at least a couple players on the bench, right? It looks like this year they're going with the 11 aside, week one, 11 players, week two, 11 players. That's how they're going to do it for most promo squads, it seems, because that's how we've had for ones to watch. And now that's how it is for rule breakers as well. Now, obviously, this is only team one. So since they label this as team one, makes me think there is going to be a team two next week. Player selection today, kind of interesting. Nangolan, Mertens, Douglas Costa, Laporte. The first five here, pretty hyped up cards. And then I would add Llorente and Andre as kind of interesting looking cards. Andre didn't catch my eye at first, but especially with the Renato Sanchez links, you throw a catalyst on that card, he could be a really solid box to box or a CDM. He's got a high, high work rate, so that could be very interesting with his updates as well. But a lot of these cards are very expensive right now. We'll talk about that in a second. So this is the cards in packs. Douglas Costa looks pretty sick with the uh, finishing boost. This card's going to be nasty. Harry Kane looks special with the 91 pace. Mertens honestly looks really good too. I'm very interested to see how this card actually plays on the pitch with really high shooting stats. His dribbling is still not bad, um, and neither is Harry Kane's, but we'll see how their player builds are different, you know, and how they react in game. So that'll be an interesting watch. Um, we did get some pretty solid SBC content today as well. Besides the two-star weak foot on the Tanaki Williams, I have seen this card do some nasty things already in-game for when there were a few people that were able to play earlier today. I had a friend do the SBC for the shooting boost, Tanaki Williams, and the guy didn't miss. So that's kind of crazy. Um, and it looked pretty good on the dribble as well. Probably you throw, I don't know what you throw on him, maybe like a, a finisher or something. Um, but... This Inaki Williams looks pretty special as well. I think this is really dope, right? With this new promo and the rule breakers and how it's going, having the option for the dribbling boost or the shot boost is pretty interesting. So big fan of that by EA Sports. Uh, if you're going to do that SBC, I think it's about 90,000 coins. Might be a little bit cheaper at Squad Battle Rewards if there aren't any other SBCs that come out over the weekend just because that kind of stuff could drop. I don't think this SBC really made SBC fodder rise today. Um, it's just not that hype of an SBC. It's cool. But it's not super duper hype. So our SPC fodder investments, just hold on to those. Honestly, if you did a club stock like I recommended, I still got all my cards in the club. Basically, we're just saving until one SPC does come out because these cards are getting very cheap in terms of SPC fodder. This was the objective card, Mukiele today, who actually himself on his own Twitter kind of roasted EA Sports because he said, hopefully I can pack my card in game somehow because there's no way I'm going through all those objectives to get this item. So that was kind of funny from his tweet today that he tweeted about this card. But this is a pretty nice looking right back card. I still don't know about his player build, but a lot of people like this guy at right back. I wasn't a huge fan of him at first, but I think he's actually being pretty well in the game. I think you might have to, sh you might have to throw a shadow on him uh, or maybe a sentinel. I'm not sure. You got to get that defense up. But this 89 pace is really solid. And the best thing about it is, if we head into objectives, this is entirely done. And EA's finally listened to us, man. Finally. This objective is entirely accomplished inside of the live foot friendlies mode. There's a rule breakers classic. I haven't actually looked at the mode to see what the requirements are. But basically, to get this card, you got to win six matches, score 12 goals with Bundesliga players, score in six separate matches with French players, assist five goals with French defenders, 
assists, four goals with crosses from Bundesliga players. So not that bad of an objective. You got 10 days to do it, so that's not too terrible. Um, kind of an interesting time frame with 11 days to do this objective. So that's uh, going to expire kind of at an interesting time. But uh, that's a really, really solid objective card. A lot of people are going to do this at this early stage of the game to get a right back that is French with that solid of stats. It's not outrageous, but it's solid. And I think people really do like him in the game. And some people are used to using him already. So I think he's going to get uh, a lot of people are going to do that SBC inside of the game. So that that was all the content today, right? Now, we did have, I think, a uh, another team. Another team objective here at the front or team event is what they're calling this. Uh, Erling Holland versus Felix. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know what I did here. I don't, I, uh, European powerhouses. This is the new one. Okay. Uh, complete at least one team event to be eligible for event rewards. I don't know exactly what's going on here and my game is kind of lagging. So I'm going to back out, but I think it has something to do with one of the leagues being a part of the winning team will earn you a lone icon and a TIFO. Okay. Six. So you get a TIFO for whichever one of these wins. If I had to pick one, Hmm. Maybe I think Bundesliga would win since that's one of the most hyped up leagues. So yeah, maybe Bundesliga would win. I'm not sure. But uh, that was a new thing that came out today in the game as well. I do want to show you guys one thing over on the website they dropped today about rule breakers. Just to kind of talk this over for a second. Uh, and just kind of, to, there's some interesting information here. Again, rule breakers are leaving behind their previous styles of play to transform into different kinds of stars with game changing updates. And then this is Rule Breakers Team 1. So I would expect next Friday to see Rule Breakers Team number 2. And I did it say in here that these guys are out for a week. No, I didn't. They're just released on Friday the 23rd. But I think on the foot menus, it says they're out in packs for one week. Um, for the first time, there'll be objectives, limited time foot friendlies to obtain, obtain Rule Breakers cards. Yep, that's Mukiele. And then this is the interesting thing. Finally, Halloween and Day of the Dead also return to foot with squad building challenges and objective featuring kits, stadium items, and pack rewards beginning Thursday, October 29th. So there's really not going to be a screen promo. This Rule Breakers promotion right now is going to go through the Halloween holiday. There's going to be kits, stadium items, and pack rewards, probably some pack SBCs, what that means. So just kind of watch out for that stuff. But that is some content we have upcoming related to Halloween and Day of the Dead. Uh, some of you guys have liked to invest in SBCs in the past. Um, some of like the clubs that have uh, mascots that emulate like a Halloween type of character or um, those, some of those SBCs might be investable again this year. We'll see what happens with those. But uh, that's something interesting that came out. So again, that was kind of all the content that we got today. Now, just to speak about the market, right? Because the servers were down for literally almost eight hours today. And that really did a number to the market. Now, let me take you guys through a couple of cards that went down a lot today. We're going to look at some footbin cards. Uh, first of all, I want to show you guys one card in, in one situation today. A lot of stuff that happened um, during this kind of sell-off was just due to nobody was able to get on the market. Wow, this card's bouncing back already. Um, nobody was really able to get on the market. And what happened was the people that were on were just listing cards and trying to get coins because nothing was selling, right? So we had some cards that just kind of got undercut um, from the beginning of the day into kind of the evening. And people that were on the game just kept listing it lower and lower and lower because they were trying to get it to sell or whatever. And that made some cards drop today, which is kind of interesting because you're like, okay, not really many people are on the game. So when the game does come out and restart, don't you think that those would kind of shoot back up to their price and some of the cards are already starting to do that i wasn't really a fan of investing in the golds but after i kind of thought it through and i started to see that some of the cards rise back up i kind of got interested so just to kind of show you what happened today a guy like um well i'll show you who i have on my transfer list right now i've got a couple alex Teles, and here's why this is why i bought Teles today. this is the only reason why i know there was panic going on now i know a lot of people have bought their weekend league teams already but today Telos was 44,000 coins before the content drop. 45K on Xbox. Dropped all the way down back to 33 on both. Now, I know it's, I, it's kind of a lower rated card, but this is one of the best left backs in the Prem. Very hyped up, very meta, right? Uh, and a new transfer. So a lot of people were using this card. He got almost as low as he did on uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning when rewards came out. That was the trigger point for me. When I saw cards, like I was just searching Dybala, right? Dybala got to a point tonight where he went from above 60,000 coins to all the way back down to low 50s. He wasn't even that low for rewards 
At rewards time, he was 50,000 coins. And he, over the past day or so, he was 65K just this morning before the content drop, back down to where he's at 55 now. I bought one for 52K just a couple minutes ago. I think that kind of card rises back up because it is hype. It is meta. Some of the other popular players did this today as well. I bought a Joe Gomez at 105. He's up a little bit. Rashford was down a bit. He, he's kind of rebounded. Mendy was low. Bruno Fernandez was a bit low. Marshall was in the 130s. So some of these cards got kind of like panic sold once the servers kind of opened back up. Those prices were already low from people that were still on the servers when they were down listing cards and undercutting. And then the people, when they got on, started listing some cards because either they were packing them or they were selling them to go try out a new one of these um, one of these uh, rule breaker cards. And that kind of pushed the market down a little bit. But now it's starting to kind of rise back up. Could that last into the morning? That's the big question. Will this market rise last into the day today on Saturday? I'm a bit leery. Okay, I'm a bit leery of it because all these people that didn't get a chance to open packs yesterday are going to open those packs today on Saturday because a lot of people saved rewards or they saved packs or they even were they had FIFA points, right? There were promo packs in the store today. The biggest packs we've seen to date in the store inside of this game, there were 40 5,000 coin packs. I don't know how many of them there were, but there were 10 25Ks and 8 45Ks. Now, if anybody was stacking FIFA points today, they were probably open some of these 45Ks, and that's a lot of players getting on the game. So that's a lot of supply, right? I might be a little bit worried about some of our lower rated players, especially today. It's Saturday morning when people do get back on the game and some of the prices that could possibly drop with the pack supply if a lot of packs are still unopened, which I feel like some of them are. So I do think you might see some of those players drop today. Um, I would probably try to sell most of your players during the day sometime on Saturday. Honestly, um, if it's lower rated, maybe the earlier the better. I don't really feel like this stuff is, has more room to bounce up. A lot of the bounce happened on Thursday with rewards. People have bought their teams already. And now the hype around these cards is trying out the new players, right? That's what people really want to spend their coins on or they want to buy back players that they panic sold. So just be careful with some of that stuff today. I would expect a slight bit of selling headed into the content drop today. Now, Harry Kane is extinct right now. Mertens is extinct because these cards are very rare as well. Um, they didn't have a chance to get packed today. They really didn't uh, because of everybody. The, the UK is asleep or was asleep when the servers came back on. Um, and there just weren't as many packs open to supply these guys in the market. So I think that a lot of these rule breaker cards are overpriced as well. Harry Kane at 1.2 million coins is just, it's a bit ridiculous to me, unless he is somehow really overpowered in this game. And same thing with Mertens. I feel like almost all of these cards have to drop. The Porte is the one that just, just does not make sense to me at the slightest in, in the moment right now. I know he is French. I know he is Manchester City, and those are some very good links, but he has a very, it's car, It's just like Kyle Walker's card here, right? Kyle Walker has a center back card that has 93 pace, plus 12 pace in this card, and that Kyle Walker item is 450,000 coins. So the reason why I think this Laporte is overpriced is because this card is out of packs, it's up 50K, and he's still almost 100,000 coins cheaper than that Laporte. So I think all these rule breaker cards have room to drop. You know, especially like a guy like Llorente, Kamara, I think drops more, Ocampos drops more. I think all these guys drop today on Saturday with more pack supply. So be, be careful with those. Same thing with the team of the week, right? This current team of the week has got some very interesting supply after day one. Rashford's bounced back up. Werner's still pretty low. Um, you know, Delaney's down. Ederson is down. Just be really careful with a lot of these guys because uh, with all the packs that could be opened up today, it might drop these guys' prize, uh, prices. Werner is very interesting because his inform is so cheap. His gold card's only 100k less than his inform, which is crazy. I know the inform isn't much of an upgrade, but the ones to watch is still almost 700k which is kind of crazy as well. So just watch these cards if there is some panic today. Now, out of packs, Team of the Week's cards, there were some of those that were low as well from when the servers were down. I bought a Vardy at 180. I bought a Lozano at 102. Ben Yedder was at 450,000 coins. He's back to 500K+. plus. Mukiele was at 240 right away. He's back down. He was uh, right around 200K. He's back up a little bit. And ones to watch as we're a big buy tonight too. A lot of these guys have risen up a decent amount since the servers reopened. I was seriously, I even talked about this on the live stream last night. I was really considering buying a Gareth Bale as like a team investment 
That was before I bought some of the gold cards for a quick rebound. Uh, but Bale was in the 230K range tonight. Now he's up in the 240s. They do play on Monday, so that's an interesting one. But guys like Suarez, Suarez is in the low 120s today. Suarez in the low 120s. He is already up to 130,000 coins right now in the game. Werner's up like 50K. Thomas Partey, uh, Arsenal. This guy was in like the 160s, 170s today, and he is now 190. So this guy's really risen up a decent amount today. Ziyech is up. Uh, Allen is up. Tellez is up. Of course, we have a big game today between Chelsea and United, so that's a very interesting one that's going on. Some of the ones to watch two cards are inflated as well. Havertz, Sané, of course, uh, possibly making his first game appearance today. The only one that's really down is Rodrigo, and that is because he and the Leeds team played on Friday. He did not score, and they don't play until like November something. Like He doesn't play until the first week of November is the next Leeds game. So I would kind of steer clear of this card if I'm being completely honest because they don't play a game for a while. He's down like 25,000 coins. So I would honestly steer clear of that one. I wouldn't really invest in that for a market rise. Only like maybe next week at rewards if you really wanted to. So ones to watch. This should be a very, very interesting watch today um, with the cards that are in the game. And of course, watching the cards and the panic selling as they do possibly drop after the game. But the real interesting thing today is going to be how does this market respond to the pack supply? So like I did buy this Dybala. Uh, at 51, I'm probably going to list him at like 60. I'm not going to try to get too greedy with this just because I know that it's possible uh, that some of these cards might get packed a little bit when all the pack supply comes during the morning time UK. So I'm just really curious to see how much demand there is still for a lot of these. Probably list these overnight, see if I can get some sales into the daytime UK. So that'll be interesting if we see more of a market rise on the higher tier stuff, which I think could happen. But then I'm still kind of, you know what? I'm not really sure what's going to happen today, boys. It's going to be interesting. Every time the servers go down like this, it's a different scenario, right? Every time, you know, the server's going down for this long and impacting the market this much, it only happens a couple times a year, to be completely honest with you. And every time it's different because we're always in a different stage of the market. I feel like a lot of people have already bought in their weekend league teams for this weekend, which is why I'm a little bit scared that it might not be like too much of a rise today. So, um, we will see what happens with the market today. I do think some things will go up, but I do think some things will go down as well. Regardless, into the nighttime tonight on Saturday and into Sunday, you might start to see some things trickle off. We might try to do a little bit of um, some, some risky flips from Saturday night into Sunday with some of the rule breaker cards if they drop off a lot um, amount today. We'll be watching those cards very carefully along with the ones to watch as well. Well, so I know it's a little bit of a longer video today. Hopefully your Saturdays are, are good. There is one extra day of the Foot Champions Weekend League, so you don't have to stress as much about getting all your games done. It'll be the second week in a row that we can play Foot Champs games on a Monday, which is very interesting. Maybe EA should just extend the Weekend League to be four days anyway. That might be kind of nice. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. If you're hyped about the promo or any of the players, drop a question down below or tell me why you're hyped down below and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.